Thank you so much, Valdis. It's nice to be here with all of you. Um, President Biden uh, has instructed uh, me to bring a new approach to trade that advances the needs of our workers, protects the environment, and creates an inclusive prosperity. President Biden has also made clear the priority that he has on building and strengthening the US-EU relationship. We have been successful in the last uh, almost two years now in orienting away from the issues that divide us, uh, that create tensions between us, to um, cooperation, to advancing a constructive vision uh, for um, how we work together um, to uh, build a trading regime that creates that race to the top. We've been successful on large civil aircraft, uh, global steel and aluminum. Uh, we also uh, have just uh, completed our third ministerial meeting of the Trade and Technology Council. And as Valdis mentioned, uh, we are building towards uh, the fourth meeting of the TTC uh, later this year. All of this gives me in particular confidence to address the concerns that Valdis and our European friends have expressed to us on the Inflation Reduction Act. Um, <clears throat> The uh, EU's ambassador in Washington, um, uh, Stavros Lambernidis, is um, a good friend. Uh, Stavros uh, said to me a couple months ago, he said, you know, Catherine, uh, when the US and EU work together, we make history. And I think that um, uh, that uh, is absolutely right. That is certainly how I think about it, working together and advancing. <clears throat> Our strategic partnership is very much at the core of our vision for building an economically prosperous global order. Thank you.